In this episode of INN CEO Talks, we're talking about mining in Colombia. Gold mining, that is. With the man who heads up the team that discovered and brought to production one of, if not the largest gold mines in the past five years in that country, and then he sold it to Zhejin Mining for $2 billion. Ari Sussman raised $1 billion during the discovery and build out of continental gold where 11 million ounces of gold was identified. And now he and his team are focused on two new projects under the collective mining name. Ari, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. I look forward to our talk. Gold mining in Colombia, you know, it sounds like something that we've heard of forever, but really uh, the environment there has changed and you've got a very uh, exciting new project. Bring our viewers up to date on it. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head with that comment. You know, Colombia was a forgotten child due to the security concerns there that riddled the country in the 1980s and 1990s primarily. That coincided in time where we had a huge advance in technology for mining. So many of the world's largest deposits were found during that time, and Colombia missed that wave of influx of capital. From 2001, 2002 onwards, the, country's, uh, the country changed for the better. It's become a far, a far less, uh, less, less dangerous place. It's much easier to operate strong government. And, and it's part of the Andean shield, the mountain chain. We know Chile, we know Peru, we know where the world's copper is and large gold deposits are, and all of that potential is sitting in Colombia still to be found. It really is. And, the, and as you point out, the transformation in the country has been remarkable. Uh, like the economy is moving, people are having productive lives, and this allows us now to turn our focus back to Colombia as a mining jurisdiction. As a jurisdiction, it has a rich history. What's the current uh, environment like as far as being able to move through permitting and, and moving towards the production of a mine? Um, I can tell you this, having permitted the, the modern mine of Colombia at Beritica, our previous company, you know, what the government said it would do in the permitting schedule, it adhered to it. So when you received a timeline, you need to submit by this date, we'll respond by Y date, et cetera, et cetera. All of those buttons were, were hit exactly on time, and it took us uh, less than one year to permit a mine. It's an excellent jurisdiction for permitting mines, but very professional and very detailed at the same time. So knowledge base is high. Um, I, I will say this about Colombia, you know, it's, it's an agriculture, natural resource based economy, right? And the wealth of the country is going to be driven by, by those factors. So, you know, mining is key. The country really wants to improve its GDP, even though it had the fastest growing GDP in the last decade in Latin America. Um, it has a lot of room to grow and middle class has a lot of room to expand and that will happen with with mines being put into production so tell us about your project do you have a number of targets within it uh give us an overview and then give us some of the specific areas that you're focusing on right now so we took our knowledge base you know the, the core group of people that were let go by zijin on the takeover and we've applied it elsewhere and our expertise is in porphyry systems and deposits related to porphyry systems and so we identified this area uh, in a department called called us they call them departments which means states or provinces and and it's an area that has a a mine already in production that's been producing for 500 consecutive years or more believe it or not and literally what might be the old one of the oldest mines in the world and we staked the ground and acquired the ground literally next door to them that is our guayabalas project why did we do this because we have this expertise in identifying porphyry and porphyry related targets and that deposit that's been in production for all those years is a porphyry related vein system and the way these things work is in a five kilometer radius typically you know from a center point you will find porphyries you'll find porphyry related breaches and vein systems we believe that happens to be a peripheral vein system to a porphyry complex we now are confident that we have the porphyry complex at our guayabalas project and have been exploring and we'll talk about that in a minute second our second project is named san antonio it is a second project although it's only one kilometer from edge to edge from guayabalas titles you know so it's really close uh, but it does take more than two hours to drive from one project to the other due to mountainous topography roads etc 
Um, but it's part of the same porphyry complex, and that, that's the key. So we're, we're hunting on the second project for porphyry-style deposits as well. What, is, what do you anticipate will be uh, the scope or scale of what you'll find? So, look, we're only hunting for big things. So this is simple yeah. as that. Multi-million ounce gold deposits or the equivalent in copper. We're looking for deposits that will be enriched in gold, silver, and copper. We, we believe we, we know we have all three. Um, and we're taking a an approach in the early days, which we are right now, that a major typically takes, which is a shotgun approach. So we we spent a lot of money and hired you know the best people money can buy to to ground truth the project on surface and and build up targets right we've built up 11 targets to date okay and the plan is shotgun approach to take the drill and 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 do a first pass test at each of those targets that's 2022 once that's complete we're going to see which of those targets will bring the most value for shareholders and we're then going to focus the drilling into those targets so to date and 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 really to talk about how amazing this project is and the potential you know, you start, you start to think about mining itself. There's about one in 1,000 chance to ever discover a mine from grassroots through to production. So it's a, I'm in the world's worst business, okay? I'm comfortable saying that because your odds are not, are not good. But it's like any business, 5% of people tend to discover more than one deposit or have success. We've identified 11 targets, okay? We have drilled six of those targets to date, of which we have made significant discovery with assay results on three of them and a fourth one we have a visual discovery which we announced uh, in two different press releases recently that we're awaiting assays on but i'm very confident we've made another discovery so what have we discovered we have an olympus target that is the best thing we've found to date at olympus the two best drill holes we drilled from near surface the first one just over 300 meters in length at about 1.1 grams per ton gold equivalent about 250 meters away along strike we just announced earlier this week 216 meters at about 1.1 grams per ton gold equivalent as well this is area covers about a kilometer and a half by a kilometer in dimension and it's open in most directions so it has all of the the earmarks of becoming a multi-million ounce uh, target or multi-million ounce deposit and remember this sits three kilometers to the northwest of the famous Marmato deposit, which I alluded to earlier, which is the one that's been producing for 500 plus years. And we don't know how many millions of ounces have been produced there, but it's well in excess of 10, probably in excess of 20 or 30. No records go back that, that long. Normally when you're at this early stage in the development of your company, you're out in the exploration phase and there may be some people who are paying attention to you, but based on your track record and what you're finding, are you already starting to attract attention? We are, we are, and just very recently, we've just started to market the company for the very first time. I mean, you're, you're literally one of the first interviews that, I, that I've done. Um, to tell anyone about the company, but look, we're gonna we, we're gonna back this up with drilling, right? We've got a, a, a twenty to twenty five thousand meter drill program for the year, so we're obviously being very aggressive, right? We have holes in the lab, we have four rigs turning on the property, you know, for the rest of the year, and and I'm confident that we will create a lot of shareholder value with the drill bit. That is what's going to drive our value in the near term. So for shareholders who are now going to watch this and start to pay attention to you what's the most important thing that they should be looking at in the coming months they should be looking for drill holes from olympus from our apollo target as well as from some of the earlier stage targets on the property that will soon start to see first pass drilling but you know right now we're drilling olympus and apollo and we're really excited about what we're seeing and stay tuned lots of news to come well, Ari, I will stay tuned. And I'm really looking forward to having an update from you in a couple of months. Uh, you know, your excitement for the project, coupled with your depth of experience in the region, uh, makes, you know, Collective Mining a really interesting company to be watching. It absolutely is. I mean, I was sort of going to retire on the back of the sale of Continental Gold. And when my team brought me this opportunity, this was good enough reason to, to, to forego retirement, at least until hopefully we build this one or sell it as well. Wonderful. Thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.